Hi, I'm Dr. M. Jo Kaushik, gynec andrologist practicing in Caroline John Hospital, Nagarkoil. Today we will talk about what are the main causes of infertility in the couples. So nowadays we see around out of 10 couples like one or two are not able to have their own child by their own. So in that 40% of the factors are through the male. So how will we find out the male factors? The male factors are mainly found out by a basic sperm test or else we can call it as a semen analysis. So the sperm test remains the cornerstone in diagnosing the male factor infertility. So what all what do we see in the semen analysis? Basically first we see about the volume of the semen which will be which should be more than around 1.4 ml then we will see the quantity of, of the sperm which should be more than 15 million per ml or in total it should be more than 39 million then we see about the quality of the sperm which mainly involves about the motility and morphology it's basically a good looking swimmer so the motility it should be more than one third of the sperm should be having a good motility and morphology at least one fourth of the sperm should have a good morphologically good sperm so what does the factors which affect this sperm parameters so the factor number one is smoking smoking affects the sperm parameters by producing oxidative stress this oxidative stress will in turn causes the damage to the dna of the sperm so this second factor which affects the sperm production is alcohol so the alcohol level which is okay for the spermatogenesis is less than 60 milligram of the whole body weight so this can be around one or two drinks which can be taken at a time which can be in a frequency of one or two times in a week anything more than that will have an effect on your spermatogenesis how does it how does it have an effect it increases the estrogen level in your body which in turn reduces your sexual drive and it also affect your spermatogenesis that in turn will reduces the motility and morphology of your sperm so the third main factors which affect the sperm is recreational drugs which we can tell as cannabis which is most commonly used nowadays what does it do it reduces the there are so many studies telling this telling us that it reduces the motility of the sperm and the sperm also will be kind of little dizzy and it won't be able to find out the egg so that the fertilization also won't happen and the persons who are using this recreational drugs there is a more chance of formation of anomalous baby which means there will be there are more chances of defects in the baby so the fourth factor which we can tell is obesity or excessive body fat what does this obesity do this obesity especially around the trunk area it stimulates the production of con it stimulates the conversion of testosterone to estradiol which is usually done by the aromatization so what you all your body's testosterone will start to convert into estradiol so once this process starts to happen the testosterone which is available for the spermatogenesis will start to reduce that also in turn will reduces the quality of your sperm so the next factor which which is the fifth factor which affects the sperm is this junk food or bad diet habits so the best diet habits for the for a man to have an increased sperm count is a mediterranean style of diet which includes more of more of olive oils and more of this veg, green leafy vegetables will have a good effect on the sperm and the things to avoid is the red meat we should avoid because this red meat it also in turn will con it also has an effect of increasing your estradiol level in the body so other things which used to improve your sperm parameters is high protein rich nuts especially this walnuts badam pistas in moderate amounts it helps you to improve the sperm parameters and this fig fruit also has a very good result in improving the sperm parameters so then the sixth point which will have the sixth factor which will have an impact on the sperm is exposure to the chemicals or toxins so many people who are working in this industrial area where they get exposed to this tox toxic gases 
for them also the sperms will get affected especially what will be the major result is that it will have an impact on their ladic cell so that they are mature they will have a very less sperm count and the quality of the sperm will be almost equal to zero so for them it will be very difficult to improve the sperm parameters because these toxins will damage to the ladic cells to a extent which it can't be recovered. The seventh factor which will have an impact on the sperm is past medical history. Any history of tuberculosis or mumps will have an impact on the sperm, especially at the younger age where the sperm, the testicular growth and sperm production starts. If this disease occurs, it will have a severe impact on the maturation of the testis and in turn, the sperm production also will be affected. So most of the patients who had a history of mumps at a younger age, they are more likely to have a azoospermia or zero sperm count in their life. But it is, uh, it this conditions, these are treatable nowadays due to the recent advances in the medical treatment such as stem cells which we use to stimulate the production of the ladic and Sertoli cells in these patients. The next, the factor 8 is acute viral illness. A history of severe viral cold or any viral fever which has occurred recently will have an impact on the sperm, spermatogenesis and this will be lasting for a period of around one or two months which is usually the spermatogenesis cycle which is usually around 60 to 64 days. So if you are having a viral illness in this period, obviously your sperm count will be less and what we usually suggest is we can repeat a semen analysis after a period of one or two months after you recover from this severe viral illness. So this doesn't include the normal flu, but a severe viral illness means it's an illness which is lasting more than seven days and which you will be required to hospitalize, not in staying in the home. So the factor eight is, so the ninth factor is increased your paternal, increase in paternal age. So once you cross the age of 40, your sperm's DNA fragmentation will be affected and in turn it will reduce your potential to fertilize the female egg, especially crossing the zona pellucida layer of the egg will be very difficult once you cross the age of 40. But it doesn't mean it is impossible to have a child. We can improve that parameters by giving the micronutrients which will be required to for this fertilizing which will be required to improve this fertilizing capacity so that the fertilization is also made possible by increasing paternal age. But you, those whoever after the age of 40 is trying for a baby is required to go for a semen analysis and required to take a mild treatment to improve the sperm parameters to avoid any delay in the fertile, delay in fertility or else avoiding any anomalous baby. The factor 10 which we are going to talk about is the hormonal problems. This hormonal problems can be due to two reasons. One, your brain won't be secreting enough hormones or else your testis won't be able to receive that hormone secreted by the brain, which we call as primary hypogonadism or secondary hypogonadism. Both these conditions are treatable. Now, because of the advances in the science and technology of the medical field, we will be able to treat this primary and secondary hypogonadism and improve your semen parameters. Thank you.